Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Daily Squeeze 184. Whew. Monday. Sorry, I'm a little rocky today. I just have my phone in my hand and I've popped on my, my daisy earrings to bring a little bit of brightness. Um, my glasses are really blinding. Um, not blinding, but you know what I mean, like it's glary. So I thought today I would pop on and do a little bit of regrouping and focusing. Last week was interesting. This week is going to be just as interesting. There's quite a bit going on all over the world. Um, I have been a bit quiet on birthday bonanza. I have not scheduled all my posts, I guess. Like I did quite a bit of um, pre-work for it and it just doesn't feel right to me to keep everything going and I did drop the ball on my live online workshop that I want to give tomorrow and after talking to a few people um, over the weekend because obviously I was a bit down on myself about it um, I just wanted to give an update on that so I'm gonna postpone it for a week it's a free um, live online workshop there is a link I will pop up more links this week so I am going to I think it is important so it's three key habits to build self-love and to stress less um, for that happier healthier you and your happier healthier family and I think now is a great time to really talk about these three key habits you know me I'm always talking about that happier healthier lifestyle and I think as our lifestyles are changing a little bit. This is really important. So I'm going to postpone from tomorrow. It's 11 o'clock tomorrow, but I'm going to do it 11 o'clock my time. So Brisbane, Australian Eastern Standard Time um, to next Tuesday. And this is just because I haven't promoted it as much as I wanted to. And I haven't felt right. But after talking to a few people uh, lately, I feel like this is the time because our lives are changing, our lifestyles are changing, and what can we do for that? So I do need to make some minor changes because um, <laughs> I want it to fit in with what's going on in the world. And obviously, as I prepared for it before Birthday Bonanza, um, it wasn't quite as... Well, life was a little different. <laughs> um, but I still think there's so much benefit and I did go over it with a, um, a girlfriend and a client over the weekend and there, there's just a lot of value in it which I think will be really helpful especially this time. Um, especially with what's going on I guess, not this time. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be three key habits to building some self-love, to stressing less and to um, being on your way to developing that lifestyle of that happier, healthier you. And it's for you and your family. And it's gonna, there's quite a bit of value. I'm just gonna add a lot more because I think we all need it. And even as I say this stuff, I have to admit over the weekend when I was going over the, the information in it with a client, like it just reinforced so much for me. And that's why I'm back on here. I've regrouped, I've focused, and I'm going to keep providing as much value and happiness and healthiness as I can on this platform because I feel like that's what that's how I can um, contribute so along with that I think like I said um, over the weekend I had these these really good chats and it's important to to keep chatting about all this stuff sorry I just I'm very uncomfortable and it's a bit blurry and I don't know what's the best I just want to be outside right now so I love being outside in the fresh air the boys are um, more sleeping in his bed Bud's sleeping next to me I go back to more Ruby's at the door by the gate like we're all just cozying up as a little family I'd love to be able to move the gate outside so I could block off the stairs and see what Ruby would do but I think Mark would get mad because then we always have to do it and she would expect it so maybe that's for later but I think well what I want to what I want to say is you know after my chats over the weekend it's been really good to 
to focus on what's important to me. So I have done a bit of regrouping. I think the uh, the live online workshop will be really um, beneficial. I am doing it over Zoom. Um, it's just a better platform than staying live on Facebook for, I think it's going to go for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. But it's just with the connections and stuff it's just easier for me to do on zoom so you do need to sign up for it i will pop the link below it's just you name your email and i'll mail you the link to zoom i'll also be popping it up i think because i do want as many people to be able to join as possible i do i'm really excited about the value in it after having some chats over the weekend so i'm definitely refocused i'm going to um just keep doing what I'm doing to contribute like I said before it is about to me it's about stressing less and how to stress less and I think you know they're to each his own we're all our own people we all will stress um, in different ways and to relieve stress at all is going to happen in different ways for each of us but it's knowing who we are to be able to do that I know journaling every morning helps me I have been I always have like one kind of self-help book workbook going on that I'm reading and then I have a fun book and I have um, I have decided over the weekend I'm putting down my um, my workbook it is one of my favorite books I'm starting to I've been rereading the atomic habits over again and I love it but I am putting it down because I think I need a little bit more time to just be in a different world and to just take a break from everything so I am picking up my fun my fun reads like my nighttime reads during the day a little bit more as well if I need to if I'm just feeling nervous or overwhelmed or if I'm also <laughs> I noticed um kind of end of last week and over the weekend if I'm starting to feel bored I'm feeling hungry but it's it's more of an uncertain feeling so I'm going for water and I'm going for my book instead if I can read for 20 minutes and if I'm still hungry fine I'll eat I'm also um, I am a stress eater, I always have been, and my anxiety does bring that on. So I have put in place some things, you know, lots of water drinking, which feels amazing because I'm back up to about two and a half, three liters now. Again, I kind of took a little dip there last week. And um, yeah, just instead of doing being bored because I don't know what's happening and I hate not knowing. <clears throat> Um, I'm just going to stick to reading my fun book that I can get lost in, even though Atomic Habits, I can completely get lost in that too. But it is just about stressing less for me, so I'm going to do it this week, see how I go, and if I, if I feel like picking up the other book, I always can. And then obviously spending a lot more quality time with the fam. So with Mark, his work has taken a little bit of a dip. Um, We'll see how many days he works this week, but the weather is just perfect in the morning, so definitely getting out, running around with the boys, hence they're sleeping now. We had a massive play session in the yard this morning, which was amazing. I did have Morph jump on me a couple times too many, but we're learning what we can do, and he's, I think this morning he realized he is a lot bigger than me, and he can push me over, and he needs to leave that for Mark and just settle a little bit with me so the puppy training is is hardcore right now but lots of quality time doing the things we like so the boys love to be in the yard and they love to play ball happy to tire them out so then I can get cuddles um, I think knowing what kind of quality time you want to spend with your family is good Mark Mark likes to switch off a lot especially probably now I think he's going to be a little bit more stressed he doesn't talk about it too much but he likes to get lost in TV shows so we have started to watch Sons of Anarchy which is pretty interesting and um, so hopefully we can get lost in that together we do like kind of watching shows together and stuff it's a bit of quality time that works for both of us because I can be on my phone doing social posts and whatnot and still providing value for you guys and it, it does work for us and um, I guess just being able to get out in the fresh air still, we might start to take the doggies for WALKs on a little bit of a regular basis if he's home. 
when the weather is nice and cool in the morning. So I think that's going to start, obviously, social distance, but it's just going to be the four of us and walking more people usually stay away. So that's a good thing. Um, it's Monday. I hope you guys all have a great week. I really highly suggest to try to, depending where you're at, definitely plan your week out, regroup, focus, what's important to you. Um, don't second guess what you're doing either. I did second guess all this stuff that I do a little bit um, at the end of last week because of everything going on, but I have some amazing support systems in place to tell me to keep going and it is beneficial. So. I hope it is. Comment below if you have anything to ask me or if there's anything you want me to talk about. But I highly suggest writing. So that's my recommendation. Plan out your week. Write down what you want to achieve, um, what you want to eat. Uh, write out your budget right now to know what's where. Um, and then journal, like journaling through your thoughts. I have had a couple people sign up for strategy sessions just to have someone different to talk to about everything that's going on. They've been really good. Um, I have had two people and it's just a really informal chat about, um, one of them was really interesting because it was about like her partner doesn't like to talk about everything that's going on, but she feels she needs to. So it was a really good vent for her. She started to journal and she's been keeping me up to date. She's even sent me some pictures of her um, journals and she's, you know, two to three pages a morning just to get everything out, to feel better, to keep your head organized and to realize if what you're focusing on is um, overthinking or if it's serious or if it's something that you do need to talk to your partner about, it's really good to organize your thoughts. So I highly suggest journaling. I do have my free journal prompts. If you want that, let me know. It is on my website under free things or free stuff, I think. Um, well, I know it's up there. I'm just not positive on the link. Um, and then all the new workbooks that I launched at the beginning of March for Birthday Bonanza, those will be live on the website as soon as possible. So I hope you guys rock Monday. Stay focused and write it out, baby. Write it out. Talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day.